everyone, welcome back to the workshop. It is just me right now at the moment, so um, I'm trying to do a selfie. You can see I am in the workshop though. Um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about something. It was really cool last night. Um, a group of us had got together and organised Wamsa's very first storytelling night. Um, with the idea in mind being that the, the social scene here in Wamsa isn't that varied and kind of sparse. There's plenty of us here, but there's just not that much going on. So we thought there's loads of people from like different backgrounds doing different things with different passions. They've all got a story to tell about why they're here, what they're doing, what they love, etc. So we thought we'd get together and hold a night, starting last night, and just see what happens. So we had a load of speakers arranged, like three in advance, a load of people who'd said, eh, let me see the first version first, and then I'll see if I can you know, get involved. So we're missing a speaker. So I spoke, partly because I've got to do another talk in two weeks' time in the Netherlands. It was really good practice. But what was lovely, so I was talking about um, the bike trip and then pick a lily and whatnot. And um, a woman came up to me afterwards and she said, wow, that's really cool and amazing coincidence because I'm planning to leave Mwanza in a few months' time and ride to South Africa on my own on a motorbike. And it turned out she'd been hugely inspired by Lois Price. She has your book, Lois, on her bedside table. Um, the red tape and white knuckles. She's even sent me a picture to prove, um, to prove it. Um, and I'm going to lend her your Iran book, Lois, because I've got it with me. So um, just amazing connection. We're going to meet up on Monday and talk all about Horizons Unlimited and stuff, which I think will be new to her, but that's awesome. And then secondly, um, uh, I've, yeah, just come in to unpick the bikes. But after all of that, I went out um, with some friends and Halid to uh, this like street food place I hadn't been to before. Um, it was almost like midnight. It was brilliant. It's these guys from Zanzibar basically grilling chicken on the side of the road. Like beautiful chicken, like spicy loveliness. And um, I suddenly thought, oh God, we, we were using one of the, motor, the workshop motorbikes, this Honda, you can see out here. And I, I'm always nervous about using it in the dark just because it has lights and everything, but people don't really look out very well here. And, you know, even with the best one in the world, it's not that visible. So I was just using some of my spare reflective stickers that I'd bought to, like, sticker it up and make it a bit more high biz because those stickers are seriously strong yeah they're brilliant and it was just kind of a really cool thing because as I was doing it these bodder bodders were also there just waiting these motorbike taxi guys were just waiting for business or whatever they were doing and they noticed I was doing this stuff with the stickers and they were like oh what's this what about can I have some stickers I'd quite like some stickers on my bike what are they for and they were like having a look at them and seeing how bright they might be and everything so it was cool so we stickered up a few bikes and as we were doing it it just like evolved and I was saying to one of the riders like um is your backlight working? He's like, no. I said, you have to get, please get that fixed. You, no one can see you from the back if you don't get that fixed. Especially at night, it's really important. So I'm going to put a reflective sticker here to help you, like, in addition to your light, but please, please get it fixed. He's like, oh, yes, 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 he says. So, uh, but it was just cool because, you know, the vibrance is really nice and it just, like, was an organic thing. And I think we might do a bit more of that, you know, midnight, you know, see who you can find, not in a dodgy way, but it just, it was good. And then as we were going, they were saying, well, what's going on? And, like, why are you doing this? And Halida was explaining about the workshop and what we're going to be doing there and everything. So it was just cool. It just felt good. It was nice. So, yeah, anyway, I'm now here with the um, ambulances. And I'm making up a parts list of everything that we need to um, get replaced before I go back to the UK. So that's it. So it's a bit of a sweaty day. I'm in yet another pair of dungarees for those who are admiring them. They're very, um, they're very retro in the way, but I quite enjoy them. Anyway, I hope you're all really, really well. And, um, yeah, have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>